Well, afternoon. As you can see, she's a mint day out there. And I've got a couple of days off, so I thought I might head to the hills and see if I can get some venison. Um, she'll be the odd spiker or two wandering around at this time of year, so um, just never know your luck. So I thought I'd head over the Ruahinis to a little creek that I know of, and just on the front country on the eastern side. It, um, it's pretty shitty, a lot of toy toy and crap, but hey, if you can get a vantage point look into it, then um, the uh, deer should be down by the creek and with all this hot weather, so yeah. I'm just going to finish packing my shit and um, hit the road um, and she'll be there for this evening for a bit of a walk in and set up camp so yeah see how I go and see you in there Perseverance has paid off I just spotted Here it is says to me you look and you look and you look and you can't see an animal and you've just got to remember to rely on your bloody senses and not give up because that um, spiker I've just spotted down by the river he's just 350 yards away um, all I can see is his ears and the back of his head now I'm sure there's some dead-eyed dicks out there that would have to try and head shoot him from this um, distance but not me I'd rather have um, meat in the bag will give me a better chance of that anyway I don't want to do um, risk any yelling out or whistling some people do that to stand up if he wasn't presenting a good shot and I'd do that too if he was say on an open face and you could see what he was going to do but um, the fact is he's in long grass on the edge of some thick bush so if I whistle or yell he only has to take um, a couple of steps and he's into the thick shit and I'd never see him again I mean, he could stand up and just stay there and look, but um, as he probably would, being a dumb spiker. But um, why, um, why take the risk? So I'm just going to sit here and watch the um, sun go down. And um, I know he's there; he's not going anywhere. So um, and I'll just be ready with the rifle. And as, uh, as soon as he stands up, I'll go jump behind the gun and see if I can do my part. And then. And go to the retrieve in the stinking hot freaking weather. Summer, eh? Gotta love it. So there's the little bucket. Just gotta wait for him to stand up now. I'm wondering if there's another one with him. Because that uh, toy toy is as long as hell down there. And spikers usually like to stick around with a bit of company at the moment this time of year. So I wouldn't be surprised if um, I'm one of those pretty tusk bushes. Not a deer having an afternoon to see this thing.
Well, successful mission. There's a deer on the deck. As you might see, I don't know where the first shot went. Um, it was obviously a bad shot because he didn't drop on the spot. I was um, trying to get a bit tricky um, and shoot it behind the leg to try and behind the front leg to try and save as much um, meat as I could. But um, I don't think there's much wind, so it's just a bad shot. But uh, I obviously got him, and he stayed there. And the second shot, well, that was all she wrote. He's tumbled over and lay on his back and kicked his last kick. So yeah, you're gonna be able to find the deer still. Come here, girl. She was sniffing down there a lot, winding. But I also heard some um, fucking pigs fighting before, or squealing, or scrapping, or whatever they were doing. So yeah, they went far away. So um, I wonder if I'll bump into them on the way down. Still, all right. Big get to it. See you soon. Marty just saw a deer walk behind that tree. Behind that bush. And it's just up from where I bloody but shot the one earlier. So it just goes to show you never can count your chickens. Hopefully it walks out and uh, proves I'm not a liar. Now I'm going to put the camera back down and pick up the binos now and I bet you it'll walk out just as I do that. Well, let's get a bit of a bush bash to get down into the valley. There's a ton of grass in here. Deer will be in good nick this, this season. So yeah, not far from the river. Basically I didn't know where I was going this afternoon. I just thought, well, it's gonna be nice and cool down by the river. So I'll just find a spot that overlooks a creek and just watch and wait. And it proved what well, paid off. Boy, I wouldn't be surprised if there were some deer down here. And this is down in here that I roughly heard the pigs. But I'm not stalking in silence at the moment. I just want to get this deer butchered on my back and back to camp. Oh, look at that. That's, that's fresh as with the heat that's been down here. The heat that's been down here, that would be um, dry dirt. It's just been recently turned over. Now the bush bash shit begins. I don't think the creek's that deep. I haven't been down here before. So I'm just going to put the camera away and just walk up the creek till I know roughly where I am and see if I can find them. Let me get through this ship first. Now I'm 99.9% .9 sure. He's just lying up in there somewhere. So get Stella over there. Stella, good deal. Mm. Mm. Where's the deer? Good deal. Where's it? Good deal. Where's it? Good deal. Good deal. Good deal. Where's it? Oh, I can see it. Where's the deer? Good deal. Right, 
can't see it there, dead as a doornail. Stella can smell it, but she can't see it. There you go. Good girl, Stella. Good girl, that's what we want. So yeah, that's awesome. Here on the deck. Plenty of blood around here in the grass. So it wasn't going far. On that first shot, he was fairly well stuffed. But the second one, better just to be sure. But yeah, he was just in... All I could see must have been lying around here somewhere. And I shot him from up on the hill up there on the skyline, right on that knob. So yeah. I didn't see anything else running away. I was pretty look pretty quick to have a look for that, but um, didn't see anything, so right, we'll get into it. Even bothering with it. Mm. Yeah, it looks like one shot was a bit far back where I was sort of aiming, and the other one I thought bugger it, bugger the worrying about the meat, I just want him down. That's where I've got him. I'm not going to gut him or anything because I've just got my big pack with me. So I'm just going to take off the four legs, the um, back stakes, and maybe the eye fillets. And now I'll fit all in my pack. Yeah, it's the first shot a bit far back. I was aiming behind the back leg, and that's actually exactly where it went. So he probably would have gone down. And I thought, bugger it, next shot. I want him down, I don't want him walking off, so I just aim middle of the shoulder and boom. It's gone right there. So I always take a couple of legs, take one side of the legs off, and that um, lets him get the back stakes. Well, that's about it. One de-legged, de, de backstake deer. Now to chuck it all in the pack and get back up the hill. Well, that's the hard bit done. Got the um, full four legs, backstakes, eye fillets in the, in the Kuyu pack. Now it's just um, put it on the back and start slogging away. I don't know what the time is, I um, took my watch off. I always take my watch off when I'm doing the gutting and stuff. This might help make it last a bit longer. So yeah, he was, um, when I was way up the top, I suppose because of the distance, I thought it was the little spike and maybe even a yearling. But um, obviously when I got down here, he's um, he's more than a couple of years old. Well, he was, is. He's got not too bad a size on him, so um, yeah. Should be good eating anyway. Yeah, definitely a bit heavier than the uh, yearling I thought I was going to be carrying. But oh well, that's why we do it. A guy at work asked me, how the hell do you carry such big things? And I said, well a lot of effort, a lot of sweat and a, bit, a fair bit of struggling.
now that I'm up it's not too bad so I'll tighten the straps and get going I think this is the easiest way to travel bush bashing with a heavy pack on is never, never fun so I don't, I'd rather have wet feet Well, I'll watch the clearings for a bit. That uh, deer I saw didn't come back out. I thought it was heading to a nice patch of grass to munch on for the evening, so I was watching that, but didn't come out again. So, still a little bit of light left, but not good light for videoing. And I thought I'd better get going. There's only one thing worse than bush bashing up a face with a full pack and that's bush backing up a bush bashing up a face with a full pack in the dark so I thought I'd better get on to it. Good girl. 